welcome once again, Jay Seven Six NY here. Day 226, 248 in the morning, October 10th, 1942, and we are going to be trying to recover from our defeat out here north of Verbal. Um, we did take a pretty good beating. Task Force Hoosier is, uh, I would say, combat ineffective. Now, um, I know that the decision to engage that task force was kind of a controversial one. At least it seems, uh, comment section. I understand what you guys are saying, but I am not interested in uh, losing her ball, which we still might do if they haven't turned back. Uh, I did bump this up to a level two uh, port, I mean, uh, air base. So we can have a few more planes to uh, defend this area here. Uh, whether or not that turned them back is still on scene. Um, like I said, two hours until we get uh, air operations available, hopefully with the two carriers in the area, we can put enough ordnance into them, whether they are still there or leaving, that we can get the at least the Amato down. Um, other than that, I'm going to do a little bit of reorganizing here. Uh, we do have the Truant down here at Guadalcanal. Um, I'm going to bring Truant up to the front lines to patrol in this area here and try and get them to intercept anything that happens to be coming down this way. Uh, Thresher is going to stay in this area. Uh, the Wahoo is moving in. Uh, in case they decide to pull out, I'm going to keep her in close for now. Uh, Tautog is patrolling in the gap in between uh, lay and this island here. I think it's New Britain. Um, I'm going to pull the Enterprise a little closer over to Rabal, this area, just so planes have less time to travel to get up. This is solely for that battle group. Okay? Uh, once we chase them away, I can do a little bit of further reorganization. Uh, Task Force Tar Heel is still patrolling in the west of New Guinea. Um, I'm going to leave them there. Uh, Trusty as well is going to stay there. Uh, we have our submarine wolf pack, which I had originally intended to keep strictly up here. Uh, I'm going to split off the tuna and the gar and send them down to patrol this area as well. Once they get down there, I'll split them individually so we can have a picket line of subs, basically, uh, in this area here. Um, Rampus is going to continue on operations this way. Um, Task Force Empire is up here. I didn't repair them. I just rearmed them at uh, Midway. Uh, they were going to be heading down to support further operations in the Gilbert Islands. Um, S-Force 27, which is the WASP and the Altamaha, is heading back to uh, resupply their planes. Um, once they get that taken care of, they're going to head back. And uh, our merchant fleet is still moving out. Um, my goal for the upcoming future is to uh, hopefully the garrison here finally falls so we can start moving up towards truck. Uh, I do believe we have the sea lanes open. Uh, we have over 200 ships, so that'll be helpful to get the extra supplies and stuff. So that's the plan. Now it's just up to the Japanese to either cooperate or not. So sit back, relax, and enjoy episode number 57. Okay, looks like we may have uh, succeeded in 
conducting a mission kill here. They are heading away, which is a huge, huge, huge relief. Whether or not Wahoo can catch up to them remains to be seen. So let's uh, try and get Wahoo up there. Air operations available. Uh, let's see what we have at Rabal that we can launch. Uh, ooh, all right. We got six Beauforts. We're going to launch six Beauforts. Um, I'm going to send them in with torpedoes. I'm going to send the Beauforts in with torpedoes. I just feel like uh, Yamato would be better served with a couple torpedoes into her side. Hopefully six. Um, and then from Enterprise... Enterprise is going to launch... Avengers. We're gonna put two armor piercing thousand pound bombs on them. On them up as well. And Task Force Neptune. There's only eight Avengers available with this. But we are going to send them also with two armor-piercing bombs. Get them up in the area. Uh, hopefully Wahoo can uh, intercept that group. Let's find out. It says there's a carrier there now. That's interesting. I doubt it, but... Wahoo's trying desperately to engage, intercept them. We've got our Beauforts already in the area. Let's have them pull out here. They may very well bomb this base. Which, if they're going to bomb any base, the one that I had no intention of making a uh, main base is preferable to where I'm going to be resupplying my ships. Let's get these guys. Enterprise is ready to launch. Uh, I'm going to hold on to enter the remaining uh, attack craft at Enterprise. Let's get our planes into action here. Like everyone's in a fairly good position. Bring these guys a little closer. I'm paranoid about them not all getting pulled into the action. Never know Wahoo might get pulled into this too. Alright, that's probably about as good as what we're going to get here. Uh, the scout planes did come from north of um, Kavang, so you may have uh, some more friends coming in to say hi. Uh, but for now, let's deal with the situation at hand.
Okay, I did kick off the attack with a lone Avenger that was <coughs> grouped by itself, so um, we've got our Beauforts here uh, that are maneuvering out to uh, get into position to attack. Uh, we've got a group of two. I'm going to split this group of four up into groups of two and uh, move in on the attack. I just wanted to see what I could do with uh, an individual um, These guys are all leaving the map. That's awesome. I wanted to see what I could do with that individual plane right off the bat. Um, but the rest of these guys are going to be making their way back. That'll give the Beauforts time to move in on the Yamato. Um, my plan is to... Let's get these guys up to a higher altitude and speed, uh, have them circle. My plan right now is to move in with the Beauforts, drop the torpedoes, <clears throat> and see what kind of damage we can do to the Yamato. Uh, once, critical and heavy, once we know for sure if Yamato is going to be going down, uh, she's maneuvering now, so um, the only one in the group that is. It might make things a little easier, actually, for the Beauforts. Uh, this group of five, six. I'm going to have them come down like this. Obviously target the Amato. And then this whole group right here, target Yamato as well. <clears throat> Not really sure what she's doing. This this uh, light cruiser is damaged as well. Uh, but given the results of the torpedo attack, uh, I'm going to probably hit the Congo, which is number two. Congo is completely undamaged, so uh, we can... Oh, maybe she's not heavy and not okay. But that's fine. That's fine. Um, the other Avengers are going to be making a run on the the uh, Congo. Hopefully, our torpedo attack can do something uh, spectacular to Yamato here. She's heading in the wrong direction from the rest of her AA. Uh, so uh, definitely going to benefit us. Um, I just need to get down on the deck. I'm going to have them circle for a little bit to uh, see which direction the Yamato finally settles on. Not sure if... I'm pretty sure the rest of... My Avengers, if I take out the Yamato with the torpedoes and the rest of the Avengers hit the Congo, um, I'm fairly sure that we can probably get her down too. At least that's my hope. Now, he is getting in our low level slower torpedo bombers. without getting him shot down. And if Yamato's going to... head in the opposite direction as the rest of the group, then that may be a little bit easier to accomplish. In fact, I may send these guys in now. Because it does look like we could probably get a fairly good angle on Yamato coming in like this. I just don't want to have them shot down before they even get there. These guys are slowing down. That would definitely be a benefit if Yamato 
excited to uh, leave the safety of all that AA. These guys get you moved in. Uh, look at target. I don't usually do manual all drops, but for this, I think uh, actually base camera would work better. It's just drop now. And only one of them dropped, and they're all gonna crash right into Yamato, so let's, uh... <clears throat> well, it says they both dropped. I don't see any torpedoes. Let's, uh, try and get these guys so they don't crash into... crash into the Yamato here. Can't see underneath them. Yep. Right. There we go. Well, that works, I guess. Yeah, I did. Should get two hits. Maybe one hit. Come on, come on. Well, I'm not going to do that again, so. Anyway, Yamato is going to uh, have to dodge torpedoes that the game handles itself, because I suck at it.
All right, we are here with our last group of three Avengers. I'm very, very happy with the way this air attack played out. Uh, not only did we get both the battleships down, but for a bonus, we got a light cruiser and a heavy cruiser. So, that makes me happy. He's already dead, already on the bottom. Uh, this is the last group of three Avengers. We did do, I believe, heavy and moderate damage to the uh, second heavy cruiser that is in the group. Um, so, there we go. Uh, two hits, two duds, but that brings this cruiser's damage up to critical and heavy. Uh, let's see if she drops her speed any. Is she dropping speed? 13, 12. <clears throat> Wahoo still in the area. Uh, they're probably about a million miles away, but yeah, 36,000. Um, it was a, a fantastic air attack. I, I, a lot of concentration went in. I tried uh, peppering the ships that I was hitting from bow to stern. Um, you guys would go nuts if you had actually watched me do all the bomb dropping. A lot of pause adjust, pause adjust, pause adjust, pause adjust. And then remember to you know actually record it. Um, but this uh, the ship's down to nothing. So uh, I may actually grab Wahoo and bring her in to uh, finish the ship off here. Critical and heavy. She's not moving. Everyone else is leaving her in the dust, so uh, Wahoo can make her way in, I guess. If she sinks before then, then okay. But if not, this little fella is going to finish her off. Alright, so she did actually uh, start doing some damage repair. You can see she's moving pretty slow. <clears throat> Wahoo's still 36,000 yards out. Um, closing very, very slowly. Uh, so I'm going to let this guy go. It's going to take too long to get the Wahoo over there anyway. But uh, I will give it a little more time to uh, develop into a very... Serious internal fire, which probably isn't going to happen, but I'll give it the time anyway, and uh, if that happens and the ship uh, loses speed or we actually manage to catch up to it, then you will see it. If not, then uh, we'll call this one a 90% successful attack, and there the smoke stops. So we're just going to call this one a 90% successful attack and leave. All right, so heavy cruiser sunk, Yamato, Congo sunk, uh, light cruiser sunk, critical and moderate on the remaining heavy cruiser. And then the destroyers uh, are damaged from the surface battle with Task Force Hoosier. So back to the map we go. I did have a minor, minor heart attack uh, when I tried loading into the game. Um, the update that uh, Killerfish put into place had gone into effect. And uh, I am not the best with altering game files and code and mods and all that. I usually need quite a bit of help. Um, so I got the help that I needed and the dame damn game it didn't crash every time I tried loading into this campaign um, I was worried that this was going to be a busted campaign uh, but that's not the case and uh, judging by the scouts here we've got something else out there so our work is just beginning 
although the Allies can spend a little bit of time celebrating their successful air attack on the dual battleships, it isn't long before scouts sent north of the Solomons to investigate the origins of the wave of float planes find what they're looking for. Although this convoy consists of fewer warships and more merchants, the purpose of this convoy is clear, and they still pose a significant threat to Allied forces in the Solomons, with war planners working on the next phase of the Pacific Campaign. This could jeopardize future invasions and seriously compromise operational integrity. With the damaged survivors of Task Force Hoosier making their way back to Midway, it's going to be up to the pilots from the ground bases and USS Enterprise to hold the line against the enemy task force. Commanders aren't taking any chances and also order USS Wahoo to set an intercept course and make best possible speed. It's all hands on deck in this fight against the Empire of Japan and the war in the Pacific continues. <laughs> <laughs>